Do the Polynesians and Native Americans have shared genetic ancestry? Scientists have long wondered whether the Polynesians and Native Americans ever had contact with one another prehistorically. There are several clues that they did. For instance, the New World crops of sweet potato and bottle gourd are found in the Polynesian archaeological record. And in 1947, there was even the famous Kantiki raft expedition, when a Norwegian explorer went on a wooden raft from Peru to Polynesia, a journey of 4,300 miles over the course of 101 days. However, past genetic studies have given conflicting results about this possible prehistoric connection. So the researchers of the new study went all in. They did the largest and the first genome-wide analysis of people from these two regions to solve the mystery once and for all. To investigate, the team took saliva samples of 807 indigenous people. This large group included 17 populations from the Pacific Islands and 15 Native American groups from the Pacific coast of South America. First, the scientists identified snippets of DNA that were unique to each group. This allowed the scientists to see which DNA signatures were found only in indigenous Polynesians, for example, or only in various Native American groups. Then, the team used various statistical techniques to figure out when various couplings happened. The scientists learned that many people in Eastern Polynesia have snippets of DNA that are similar to an indigenous group that lives in Colombia today. And after they analyzed these snippets to see when they were introduced, it appears that the Native Americans from Colombia met up with the Polynesians about 800 years ago in roughly 1200. However, it's unclear exactly where this coupling took place. One idea is that the Polynesians, who were expert boaters and used the stars to navigate, boated all the way to what is now Colombia, where they met up with the indigenous people there and had babies with them. And then the Polynesians would have had to return to Polynesia, and maybe even they took a few Native Americans with them. Or another idea is that the indigenous people in Colombia boated all the way to Polynesia where they met up with the Polynesians and had babies there. Only more scientific evidence may reveal the true meeting spot, or perhaps we'll never know. In fact, an analysis of the wind and ocean currents showed that both journeys were equally possible. Of note, many people suspected that Easter Island, which is also known as Rapa Nui, was the first Polynesian island to host people with shared Native American and Polynesian DNA. However, that's not the case. When the researchers looked at the surrounding islands, they actually found that the Marquesas Islands were the first spot and that Rapa Nui was the last island to be settled by these people. After doing the research, the scientists shared the results with the indigenous people who had participated in the study. Further genetic and archaeological research may shed even more light on how the Polynesians and Native Americans made contact with one another long before the Europeans were even in the picture. Thank you.